Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jared and I got Braxton behind the camera like always. And today, this is our hard enduro bike. This is going to be the beta cross trainer that we keep here at the shop and we build it up. And uh, the weather's actually going to be like 49 degrees today. So Braxton and I might actually go outside and ride this thing this afternoon to get the first tank of gas put through it, just break it in. We've done nothing to the bike except put my wheel set on it. And the first thing we want to do to this bike is put an hour meter on it. We're going to install an hour meter because all of this is going to go away. Once we turn this into the hard enduro bike, we're going to see how light we can turn this bike. And that's the goal. It's got to be light. So we're going to strip everything off it. We don't need the meters. We don't need the headlight. We don't need the taillight. So it's all going to get removed. But I want to keep track of how many hours we have on this bike. That way, as we ride it, we can record it and give you guys info. If we get 100 hours on it, how did the bike last? So to me, I always like to have an hour meter. I don't always like to rely on the one on the dash. The cross trainer has a couple cool spots that we can mount this. If you come in here, uh, Braxton show this area. This is a really good spot to mount an hour meter. It's really flat right here. I think it'd make a great spot. This hour meter is not super big. It would fit well there. But in our case, I'm gonna hide it up underneath the gas tank. We don't need to see it all the time. And if we look up under this spot here, there's a round frame rail right here. And there's, I think there's gonna be enough room for us to stick it right inside of there. So what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna take the seat off, the gas tank off, and then we're gonna show you guys how we're gonna mount it there. It's not gonna be a permanent thing. I'll probably just use a zip tie. It's got some uh, a sticky back to it. It's like 3M tape. Between the 3M tape and an extra zip tie, it should be good. Uh, but to get the gas tank off, it's really simple. We just have the eight millimeter socket. I have the zip tie cutter and I have some paper towel because there's gonna be a little bit of fuel that comes out of our hose, even though the gas is off, there's still gas already in this tube. So we're going to get the gas tank off and then we'll show you guys how we're going to mount this thing. To take these gas tanks off the betas, it's easy uh, on the cross trainer anyway. So you just have uh, four bolts. You have upper and lower on the gas tank and you have two shroud bolts. And then I've already just disconnected the fuel line. So once I get these four eight millimeter bolts released, we can just pull this straight off the top here. So the gas tank's off and we're going to mount this hour meter right here on this side. The gas tank is on this side of it so we can't be over here. And we have one zip tie that's holding the electrical loom uh, on this side. So we're going to get rid of this zip tie first and that's going to help us get a little more room here. So now we're going to take our hour meter out of the package and we're going to set it right here. So these hour meters come with 3M tape on the back side. I guess we kind of have to build it but there's the 3M tape. And then we need to, before we stick it down in the frame there, we have to install the wire in the back of it. So what we're going to do first is I want to clean this frame with some starting fluid here. And I'm also going to clean the back side of the hour meter. That way it gives our tape the best chance of sticking. Okay, so we got the hour meter all cleaned up on the back side and we just unraveled our long piece of wire. So this has to be installed in the hour meter first. And they give you like a really long uh, piece with this. So you, you could kind of go, one end of it obviously has to go on the spark plug wire here. This is what's given us the signal is what's wrapped around the spark plug here. So we could kind of go wherever we want with this. I guess you could even go in the air box if you wanted, but we're going to be putting a bigger battery in here. So there's not going to be as much room as there is now. So we're going to install this wire first. So what we do is you feed it up through the back side, and the, uh, the, there is directions on this. So I don't feel like you have to, Watch this for sure. And then you kind of thread it back down through and it kind of stabs into itself. That's what's giving it the reading. And then we're just gonna pull the extra out. And now, now it's tucked in there and it's gonna record when the bike is started. It's gonna pick up the signal from the spark plug wire and run it. So we're gonna leave all this extra on it until we get it mounted. Then we'll wrap it around and then we'll cut the extra off. So the cross trainer spark plug wire has this, has this little coating on it, maybe to protect it from rubbing on the frame. And what we need to do is get this off of here because it's not going to let our wire pick up a, a good signal with this coating being on here. So this wire needs to be right on the spark plug wire itself. And you can kind of see I'm playing with it. It's kind of pinched underneath the cap there. It's this weird little uh, sleeve on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that sleeve off of it for like an inch and a half here. And then we're going to tape it up so it's nice and it's not going to get dirt down inside of it. So I'm going to pull it out this way. Now we have more room to work on it. 
So what we're gonna do is I'm not gonna cut the spark plug wire itself, but I'm gonna start like a little incision. And we'll get this inside of here. We'll cut it down the length of it for a couple, like an inch or so. So we went ahead and we cut this sleeve back quite a ways. That's plenty of room for us to wrap that wire around it. And I'm gonna take some electrical tape. That way we don't get dirt down inside of that. We'll wrap this nice and it keeps it clean there. And I want to keep this down lower so I can read it with the gas tank on. That's kind of the goal. So there's kind of like a flat spot in this frame where it goes down with like the motor mount. I'm going to try to stick this as flat as I can with that. So I'm going to bring it down in and keep it over as far as I can. You know, we want to keep it lower than like in case the gas tank is there, but I don't think it is. And we're lower than the wires there. So we're just kind of sticking it. And again, it's not going to be a great stick because it's a round frame, but it's actually holding pretty darn good already. Like I didn't. Didn't expect it to stick that well. And I'm gonna be able to look right here, it's perfect. At the end, we'll show you guys how I can still see it with the gas tank back on. And for good measure, I'm gonna wrap one zip tie around it. And we'll try to tuck this zip tie off to the side enough that we can still read the hour meter, but still give us protection. So if we go like right about here with the zip tie, we can still see, we can still see everything. I like it. And we'll cut the extra off of that. So the next thing we need to do is fish our wire here. And we got some length to it. So we're gonna kind of follow, bring it up through this way. We're gonna follow the spark plug wire. We're gonna come up in through this way with it. And the goal with this is we need to leave a little bit of extra on here. We don't want to cut it like super short. That way if we pull the spark plug cap off, we're not pulling the wire out of the back side of our meter. So I'm going to leave like um, a couple inches here. That way we have room. If we do need to do something, we can take this off, pull this out of the way, and we're not pulling on our wire. So at this point, I'll start making our, actually, if I take that off there, I can start wrapping this around nicely. You want to wrap this around like four or five times for sure to get a good, a good reading for the wire. I need my other little zip tie, so I'm going to grab that now. I'm going to take the zip tie and kind of start it. I know that the wires are still pretty loose, but that's okay. I'm going to start the zip tie. Just kind of get it on there. It's not tight at all. And I'm going to come in. Come in from the top there, Braxton. Can you see what we're doing there? I've got like four really good wraps, five good wraps around there. And now I'm going to use this zip tie and tighten that right up nice and tight. That way we get a good reading. And I'm even going to put electrical tape on this as well. That way, that way we don't lose it over time. So. And I'm going to come in. I'm going to get a piece of tape off the reel here. Bend the wires down so they're flat and bring the tape around to kind of hold it all still. Just to maybe I'll put a little more tape on it just because we're doing it. Might as well do it right. All right, so here we have it. Our meter is mounted. It's got the 3M tape on it. It's got the zip tie holding it. It's not going to go anywhere. We got enough slack that if we need to pull the spark plug wire off, we left a couple inches there. And we got the zip tie with four coils and we got the electrical tape on top of it to hold it. And we cut off that extra sleeve that's, that wasn't going to allow us to get a good reading. And we protected the bottom half of that sleeve with electrical tape. That way mud doesn't get down inside of there. So now all we have to do is put our gas tank back on and we'll show you how we can still see it when we're done here. Okay, so if you look down in here now, you'll see where our hour meter is. And hopefully you guys can see that. If you can look up in there, we'll give a little bit of flashlight. Super easy for us to read down out of the way. We're not gonna knock it off the bike during the race. So it's really cool. It's a great spot for it. 
Again, this is geared at three C's. I think Brax and I are gonna go ride this afternoon and get some time on this motor, get a couple hours on it before we start modifying it. Thanks for watching.